Hi guys. Okay, um, this turned up this morning. I thought you might be interested to see it. So this is a tan data, a few data terminal from well, early 80s sometime, don't know the exact date. So far, it seems to be pretty much in the original packaging, even the outer box. And here we go. Okay, so Tandata TD 1816. You can see an integrated uh, modem. Video out composite. So I'll have to convert that, uh, other than that, let's see if it works. Okay, and the power supply. So first things first, I have to plug this into phone line. Put the motor in there one time. Next thing, plug the, uh, the composite video in. Now I'm just using a little upscaler, so uh, composite to HDMI. Plug the power supply in. Now I don't know if you can see the keys, but quick inspection, see some of the, uh, the letters have rubbed off. Theory that shouldn't affect it too much. Okay, there's the power. Okay, let's see if this works. So, press any keys to continue. Okay, uh, it's obviously not stored any of its numbers I suspect over the years the batteries run flat but what we should be able to do is press hash to dial the number manually and we can hear we've got dial tone there right. pulse dialing given its age Okay, seems to work then. So that's connected to Telstar, which um, is very similar to the old Prestel for CFAX service or Teletech service generally. Prestel obviously being the service provided back in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, up to possibly the 90s. Um, and was pretty much discontinued at that point, uh, overtaken by the uh, the convenience of the internet. But um, this Telstar system, uh, someone's kindly stood up and it looks very, very similar to the old uh, Prestel system. Okay, so we're already connected. Now this should be connected at view data speeds, which would have been 1200 stroke 75, so asynchronous. 1200 board down and 75 board up. So let's have a look at general interest. Okay, then yeah, further, wish to continue. Okay. Sit.
And there we go. So unlike CFAX or Teletext generally, you can see that it is interactive. Obviously, again, there's only a limited number of pages on this site that someone's kindly stood up, but um, it does give you the idea. So another fundamental difference between um, a view data service, interactive view data service, and something like um, Teletext is that Teletext used to send pages continuously so that if you selected a page, you'd have to wait until it was sent again um, before you could display it, decode it, display it. But um, with this system, obviously it's interactive. So when I request a page, it'll transmit it down to me pretty much immediately, subject to the uh, limitations of the board drive. Okay, gateway services. So all being well, this will allow me to, uh, to try out some other systems. So the, we can see NXTEL is listed as uh, option number three. Now NXTEL is the uh, view data service that's been stood up for the ZX Spectrum Next. ZX Spectrum Next is obviously uh, a slightly newer version of the, uh, the ZX Spectrum. It's not got a web browser on it, but what it does have is a, a view data um, terminal emulation client. Um, so it's capable of connecting to these kind of services. So if we select option three here for NXTEL. Okay. Now, yeah, don't guarantee any of this is gonna work. We'll give it a go. There we go, yeah, NXTEL. Right, well, I have no idea what's on here. I'm going to look at a couple of the pages. Look at software hub. So this service incidentally is being stood up by uh, glassttty.com. Uh, I'll put the, uh, the link up to their YouTube page uh, on the description of the video. So if you want to check it out. So. Okay, so if you've ever used Prestel, you might recognize the, uh, the diamond logo. You see this is Telstar, but, uh, but it looks very similar. Okay, now before we go back into gateway services, let's just have a quick look at something else. So, Micronet. So if you had a BBC computer back in back in the day, back in the eighties, I guess, uh, you may remember this. Oh, there you go. Well, that's probably enough of that. So anyway, there's, there's a few of the uh, 
the old Presto pages. Bit of corruption on some of them, but you get the idea. Let's so try TFAX, which I guess is supposed to be similar to the old CFAX service. I think that's probably enough to uh, demonstrate the point. So, pretty compact unit, a bit old school as you'd expect. Kind of thing you would have found in uh, a travel agent's um, back in the 80s. I'll just show you how we're uh, we're actually connecting this to the uh, to the TV. So, use the uh, the camera work. But there you go. You can see we're using this little uh, mini upscaler, and we're actually upscaling it to uh, to 1080p. And <laughs> not that it's helping a great deal, but um, but at least it means it's uh, clear enough to view on the big screen. And that's basically it. And you can see the uh, the phone line going off there and finding my uh, phone socket, which uh, rarely gets anything plugged into it nowadays. Uh, and the, uh, the power supply for the uh, terminals just there. So that's it. Okay, guys. Hopefully that was uh, that was of some interest to you anyway. And I will catch you on the next one. Cheers for now.